Bicycle Radical 80s. Are they worth the price? And down like I was nothing but loyal to you and by the side. You changed up for me as soon as things are getting on. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bicycle Radical 80s. You can pick this up on Amazon, eBay, anywhere from $7 to $10. Um, today I'm going to be giving you my first impressions. I haven't opened this deck. It's brand new. I got two of them. So I'm going to be opening up this one for you guys and showing you what comes in the box, how they act when they first come out of the box, and if this is worth the price. Let's get let's get into it. Alright. So before we actually get into the product itself, let's see what let's see what the box has on it. So as you can see, we got bicycle up here with a green, a blue, and a pink, pink uh, spade pip. And we got Radical 80s playing cards. On the side, we see it says um, poker size playing cards, poker size playing cards with the same pips that you see in the, on the front. On the other side, it says uh, Radical 80s made in China with the same three pips. On the bottom, you just get your standard barcode. On the back, this is what the back is going to look like when you open up this box. Standard USPCC seal, and that's about it for the box. Uh, when you open it up, you get a very nice pink. Uh, I like that the inside of this box is all bright pink. It's a very nice touch to the Radical 80 feel. That's it for the box. Let's move on to the actual playing cards. When you first open it up, you get your Joker. This is what the Joker looks like. It's a pretty cool Joker. On the Joker, it says... Radical 80s, Queen of Hearts, Wild Card, Royal Flush, Bad Beat, the United States Playing Card Company, this is side one is what it says. Oh, it's just a cassette tape. <laughs> and then Joker in a nice well, Joker in a nice digital font here. Very nice. The next one we have another Joker, but it's kind of different. Uh, this one has like a like it almost has like a stained effect to it, and this one doesn't, so that's pretty cool. Next we have our Ace of Spades. That looks very cool. This is like a lime green. Let me turn this light off so you can kind of see. You can kind of see it's more of like a lime green. Very nice touch to that. The All the spades are going to be a lime green. So that's pretty cool. After that we get into our diamonds. As you can see the diamonds is a, is a nice pink. More like a dark kind of deeper pink as opposed to the bright pink in the box. Our clubs are going to be a blue, which, that's 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 cool. I didn't notice that um, in the videos that I had watched previously. The 10 through the 2 of clubs, the actual uh, color of the 10 through the 2, are darker than the than the club pip. That's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty weird. And last, we have our hearts, which are going to be almost the same color as your diamonds, except for the hearts are just a little bit a um, little bit brighter than the diamonds. So that's what those look like. And it also comes with two ad cards. You get a double-backed playing card. So that's pretty cool. You can use that for tricks and stuff. And then you're just your standard Discover, Learn, Play ad card from all bicycle decks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at all the... Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the face cards. So our face cards... All have unique designs. Uh, the King of Hearts is a boombox where he's holding a boombox. Our Queen of Hearts is popping some bubblegum listening to a cassette tape, I suppose. And the Jack of Hearts is some weirdo with glasses and a mullet. <laughs> Our Club's face cards. Our King has a cool hairdo, I guess you could say. Queen has the kind of same hairdo but with a bow. And the Jack of Clubs is a ski dude. On to our diamonds. The Jack of Diamonds is a skateboarding looking dude. Queen of Diamonds is holding a cassette tape in her hand. King of Diamonds is a guitar dude. You can see right there. On to our spades. The Jack of Spades, oh that's pretty cool. The Jack of Spades is holding like a, a, one of those brick phones. That's pretty cool. The Queen looks like a VHS tape. And the King of Spades is, I guess, a jazz singer. 
so yeah, overall, it's a nice, it's a pretty nice deck, pretty nice designs that they did. Um, I really enjoy that they that they really tried to bring out the um, '80s feel with these. Spreads real nice. Uh, obviously, all bicycle decks are going to handle pretty much the exact same as you know any other bicycle deck that you get, except for the ones that have a lot of ink on them. Those are going to handle a little bit different uh, when they first come out because because of the ink on the cards, it makes it hard to do certain things until you actually break them in. So I'm going to break these in for a second, and we'll see how they handle after we break them in. Alright, we're back. I've broken them in for a little bit. And as you can see, they still handle pretty well after breaking them in. Fans look really nice. Your spreads look really nice. Everything looks really nice. As far as the price point being from about seven to ten dollars, I think seven dollars is a very fair price for this deck. I mean, yes, it's unique. Yes, it has very unique designs as far as the face cards and the cards in the in and of themselves are very unique. As but would I charge ten dollars for this deck? Would I pay ten dollars for this deck? Not really, considering that no matter what kind of bicycle decks you get, they're all going to pretty much be air cushion finished. They're all going to be designed and manufactured the exact same way. So at the end of the day. The price that you get, Amazon, eBay, will roughly be around seven dollars. I've seen these go, like I said, seven to ten. I would try to find the one that find the ones that are seven dollars and get those if you want this deck. Very nice collectible item. I don't see me using this and it on a day to day basis. I don't see me going around with this deck in my pocket asking people if they want to see tricks. But at the end of the day, it's a very nice deck. Handles really well. It spreads really well. It fans really well. I would definitely suggest this to the average collector or above average collector of bicycle cards it's the radical 80s deck very nice deck as far as the price point is it worth it seven dollars yes ten dollars no thank you for watching